in the 1950s, Japan had a huge tuberculosis problem, affecting 200 out of every 100,000 people. That's when they started using this, a simple chest X-ray. They started screening 5% of their population using X-rays every year. Chest X-rays are great for screening tuberculosis because you can detect TB on them very early, even before symptoms such as fever or cough develop. And X-rays are cheap and available everywhere. Using an X-ray-based screening program, Japan was able to reduce the prevalence of TB by 10 times in 20 years. Today, TB is a huge problem for our country. We are home to one-fourth of the global TB cases, affecting two out of every thousand Indians. We could also benefit from running X-ray-based screening programs. But we lack one critical component of such a program, radiologists who can interpret an X-ray. If we were to screen 5% of a population every year, we would need to read an additional 60 million X-rays on an annual basis. It would take up one-fourth of all of our radiologist time, a time which is not available because they also have other scans and diseases to cater to. Our government announced a program to eradicate TB by 2025. Large X-ray-based screening programs would definitely help us achieve that goal. But how do we enable reads of these 60 million new X-rays that will be generated annually? We asked ourselves this question three years back. Can artificial intelligence play a role here? Over the last five years, artificial intelligence has been able to radically change how machines understand images. For example, this picture of a dog labeled in a great amount of detail. This is a technology developed by researchers at Stanford University using a technique known as deep learning or artificial neural networks. These techniques learn from data in a fashion similar to how the human brain works. The question is, if we can train an algorithm to label this image of the dog, can we also train it to label the image on the right, that of a chest X-ray? If we can do that, we could change the TB screening pro protocol around the world and make quality TB screening available even in the remotest parts of the world. But this analogy is not as simple as it looks. Look at the three chest X-rays on the screen. How many of us here can identify the one abnormal X-ray from these three? This is a task that takes 28 plus years of training, high school, medical degree, and a radi radiology specialization. Also, if you look at the abnormal region on the X-ray, it's a very small region towards the left of the X-ray, unlike the image of the dog, which occupied almost half of the screen. We set about training our algorithms the way we would train a radiologist. We gave the algorithms 1.2 million scans and their corresponding radiology reports. It have taken a radiologist about 50 years to go through and learn from this amount of data. After three years of development, the algorithms can now ingest an X-ray and produce an automated output identifying TB and other abnormalities from X-rays in under one second. This technology has been tested This technology has been tested and validated at multiple sites around the world, Mass General Hospital in Boston, McGill University in Canada, Max Hospitals in India, and others. And it's also been C-certified now. All of these studies show that the algorithm is as good as a radiologist at interpreting a chest X-ray. One of the places where our solution is deployed is in Philippines, where mobile vans travel around the country screening people for tuberculosis. Each mobile van takes about 300 X-rays on a daily basis. Unfortunately, due to the lack of radiologists, it takes them about three weeks to get a confirmed TB diagnosis. Using this AI algorithm, now they can do that in a few hours. A patient can walk in, get an X-ray, get a confirmed diagnosis, and walk out with medication all in the same day, something that used to take three weeks. In Baran, in Rajasthan, we have also deployed this algorithm, where the TB screening process has been reduced from three weeks or multiple, multiple days to a few minutes. Look at the experience of, of, of a patient before this algorithm was deployed in Baran. Doctor, when we see the doctor, we write 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 the doctor. Now, here one of the radiographers at this hospital talk about how the AI algorithm improve the TB screening process. 
हमारे यहाँ पे डिजिटल है एक्सरे में एक क्योर ए आई नामक सॉफ्टवेयर अपलोड किया हुआ है उससे जो भी चेस्ट एक्सरे के मरीज आते हैं उनका रिपोर्ट अपने आप ही सॉफ्टवेयर रीड करके टी से रिलेटेड जो भी प्रॉब्लम होती है उसको डिटेक्ट करता है उसको रिपोर्ट को मरीज को पंद्रह से बीस मिनट के अंदर अवेलेबल करा देते हैं We did not stop with TB. We extended this AI technology to detect trauma and stroke cases. Two million cells a minute. That's how quickly brain damage happens when the cells get no oxygen in case of trauma or brain injury. Both can have tragic consequences: paralysis, memory loss, or even death. But a doctor can't start treatment unless they get a confirmed diagnosis, which requires a radiologist to read the CT scan of the head. Unfortunately, the radiologist may have a backlog of cases. They may have 30 cases to read, and the one critical case with a large brain injury might be the 31st. By the time they read all the cases and get to that critical one, it might already be too late. Our algorithms can detect bleeds, fractures, infarcts, and other abnormalities from head CT scans in a minute. It can also localize where the bleed is, as well as quantify the extent of damage. Using this technology. It could save patients a lot of patients' lives by helping the radiologist read the most important cases in a few seconds, in a few minutes, instead of a few hours. Our focus has been on enabling these technologies to function in low-resource geographies where infrastructure is limited. To facilitate this, we do all of our processing on cloud-based hardware with local hardware as limited as a Raspberry Pi, a mini computer which costs less than rupees three thousand. At Trivandrum General Hospital in Kerala, this Raspberry Pi picks up all the scans generated at the hospital and push it, pushes it to our cloud server, where they are processed using our AI algorithm. And all the critical scans, which are about 10% of all the scans, are then sent back to, to, to the radiologist's phone as a mobile message. Using this. <laughs> through this. The radiologist can now read the most critical scans in a few minutes, even when they are not at the hospital. We are adding more solutions to our portfolio, from screening lung cancer to detecting fractures. Typically, when new technology becomes available, it makes life better only for those who can afford it. AI is different, especially in healthcare, in that it can act as an equalizer. Quality healthcare, which is typically available in the most advanced parts of the world, can now be delivered even in the remotest regions using AI. The future will bring many more AI solutions, and we will see massive changes in how we prevent, diagnose, and detect and cure diseases. Thank you.